RailCorp is a world-class railway and we run a world-class operation for the people of New South Wales. Uh, we compare very favourably with uh, the reliability figures around the world. Uh, the technology that we provide at RailCorp does help us meet those figures. My name is Julian Richards, I'm the General Manager of Communication and Control Systems Division within RailCorp. We manage all of the technology that ensures that Sydney's railway uh, runs on time and safely. Our division on behalf of RailCorp scours the world in terms of best practice with international standards or even operations. Where they don't exist, we do develop those ourselves. The Advanced Train Running Information Control System is the in-house software which manages a lot of the signals throughout the Metropolitan Network of Sydney. RailCorp identified that to meet future needs, I guess, of, of increased patronage and, and other safety requirements, um, it would have to introduce a, a more advanced control system. RailCorp carried out an investigation and, and at the end of the determined that it would probably be best to actually develop an in-house solution. Um, and that's how Atrix was developed and began. They are looking at a map that is the railway map across the RailCorp's network. And so with that map, they are able to identify where each train is. Is that if there's a problem, Atrix provides alarms that would raise to alert the operators that something is wrong with the signaling infrastructures or whether there is um, a train that has passed the signal at stop. So the signalers would be able to act on that. Atrix being a computerised system actually has the facilities to communicate all the information about train running and, and any other incidents that occur to the operator as soon as possible and to the passengers themselves. One of the benefits of Atrix is that it's been an in-house solution, it actually gives us the flexibility to grow and the, the way it's been architected, it actually allows it to grow with the network. So as patronage, patronage increases, uh, Atrix will accommodate for the growth. Well, Atrix is a good example of you know, the support from RealCorp for innovative ideas. And we also always look at you know, some engineering controls of how we can improve the safety and operations of um, the rail network. Passenger or customer information for us is incredibly important. Uh, so we have a, a system which uh, actually relays the information about how our trains are running in real time to our customers at our major stations in the Sydney area. RailCorp's passenger information is comparable to the world's standard of passenger information, if not the leading edge. The benefit of the passenger information system that we have in the form of LIX is providing clear, instant, accurate information visually um, by the use of LCD screens and also um, audible with the use of um, zones and speakers. The LIC system is one of the um, many systems that actually is developed in-house. LIX stands for Line Information Control System. It is, a, it is a system that allows for passenger information control by one operator, so we have consistent passenger information across several stations. The technology works by um, train movements, essentially triggers track circuits, um, which then we understand where certain trains are at a certain time. That information is then calculated in conjunction with the timetables, allows us to understand that the Penrith Express will be arriving at this time and it will be stopping at these stations. Within our team, we work on the software applications that run at the train stations. Uh, some of this work involves um, enhancing the existing applications that we have to improve customer information. And also sometimes we work on projects to um, address issues that might have come up during certain incidents. Our indicators receive information from the Atrix system, which picks up information from trackside. Um, equipment and we relay that information to the passengers. CNCS is very innovative and provides many opportunities in regards to working with new technologies whether that be sourcing new technologies externally and looking at best practices or even developing in-house if they're not available externally. Condition monitoring is a strategy we've developed which is aimed at remotely monitoring the condition and the status of assets uh, which should improve the reliability of the network and we should also see an improvement in terms of safety for both our travelling public and staff. Uh, condition monitoring are devices on tracks that measures wear and tear of uh, wheels and axles. Behind us is the angle of attack detector system. It is used to measure the angle of the wheel uh, in relation to the track. Uh, the system uses uh, a laser and a camera. It shines a laser at the, at the object which is 
in this case a wheel. The camera measures uh, how far the laser is away, which gives you your angle of attack. When the angle of attack system detects a high angle, the system's data is then transmitted to the engineers where they get an emergency email to tell them this train needs to be inspected and find out why is this train causing such a high angle of attack. This system was developed in uh, Canada and was bought by Railcorp under a tender process and um, it's also used in North America and Europe as well. These systems uh, in the past have been known as wayside systems. Wayside systems just look at trains. We are now looking into uh, infrastructure monitoring as well. So things such as points monitoring, electrolysis, level crossing monitors and power systems also. We have just completed a, uh, a wayside strategy. It's a strategy that, strategy that uh, gives us a picture, a way forward for the next five to ten years on what we should be doing in the space of condition monitoring. I'm the supervisor for the Wireless and Systems Operations Centre. Uh, we look after all the secure communication networks, we look after traceable network time, voice recorder networks, the VCS, voice communication systems, the Metronet train radio, the Countrynet train radio, uh, WB, shunters, hand portables, yard radio. We look after the faults, maintenance, and just all the day-to-day -day running. Uh, we're lucky enough at Wild Systems Operations Centre to be involved with all the emerging technologies, and we're always looking at ways to improve the um, safe and secure uh, communications. ATP, or the Automatic Train Protection Program, uh, is actually another project that we've embarked upon within Railcorp, which is utilising technology and standards which have been developed out of Europe. Automatic train protection at the level we're going to be installing um, has a lot of uh, trackside equipment uh, which will uh, give information to the train as it approaches. Um, within the cab uh, there will be um, user interfaces for the driver so that they're actually able to see the expectations of them as they're driving that and of course it's a, a safety overlay so if they actually go too fast or become incapacitated at any point the systems will take over the control of that train. So if in the example of a train driver um, suffering uh, incapacitation such as perhaps even a heart attack then the automatic train protection system will actually bring that train to a safe stoppage the digital train radio system is a new radio system based on current technologies um, emanating out of Europe, uh, which uh, are the GSMR standard. Uh, so we are replacing some life expired assets uh, which have been in place for over 20 years. So it's quite an exciting time for us now that we are able to uh, implement this uh, brand new technology. The DTRS is a railway-specific mobile system that allows train drivers to communicate with signalers as well as trackside and station staff. The DTRS supports Railcorp's safety commitment by providing a more reliable communication system as well as providing emergency services, communication access and support for automatic train protection. DTRS will bring Railcorp's communications up to a world-class standard. SMF or the Security Monitoring Facility is the amalgamation of all of our CCTV operators around the Metropolitan Network. Uh, so that gives a single location where the security of our customers and staff can be monitored from. I'm currently standing in the brand new Security Monitoring Facility. Behind me you can actually see the, uh, some of the screens that we use to monitor our CCTV network. We have a very large CCTV network that's out there collecting uh, video, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's a major investment in our technology. And one of the things that uh, we've worked hard with with CNCS is improving our tech underlying technology that allows us to bring the information from these disparate systems that, that we once had in our station environment to these centralised centres. The work that we're doing with CNCS, particularly over the next two to three years, is going to allow us to revolutionise a lot of what the CCTV does and the way we manage our information. That's something I'm really looking forward to. The OCDN is the Operations Critical Data Network and it's a major upgrade to our existing ATM network uh, and it allows us to deliver gigabit speeds down to the stations and for the first time we'll have a presence in all our stations, comms room signal boxes. The OCDN uh, will be an enabler for uh, improved speeds for the CCTV operators so for the first time um, many users will be able to view cameras simultaneously or across regions. In CCTV monitoring, this facility is the largest in Australia and it's one of the top ten in the world in terms of size and um, complexity. 
our OCDN is an example of, of allowing us to have that innovation. We've taken the design right from uh, the base level uh, and worked up from there and um, we're, we're doing some things that will be different to the past and certainly out in the industry it's, it's a little bit unique. CTIP or the Common Telemetry Infrastructure Platform is the means in which we are communicating with our trains while they're out um, running in the normal service. So that allows us to send information to the trains in terms of how the whole network's going so we can actually relay that onto our customers and of course it allows us to get information off the trains, particularly the condition of the train uh, but also the CCTV coverage so that uh, any incidents are brought back to our SMF as soon as possible. I believe RailCorp is a great employer. It provides many opportunities for especially young people. It provides great work-life balance so you're able to go to work and be interested at work and go home and still see your family. We've got an excellent apprenticeship program as well as intern and graduate programs which are the envy of many other organisations across Australia. It's a fun environment, there's definitely technical challenges, there's also lots of opportunities to actually progress. I think certainly our communications areas are exciting place to be and we've certainly got a, a lot of things moving forward. It offers people a lot of professional development, a lot of experience, opportunity to work with big and exciting systems. If you're thinking about joining CNCS, definitely come because it's a great team to work and it's very fun and challenging.